little cowpokes. Coming from Texas, this is Mrs. Orendorf. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful sheriff piggy. Now, he could be a little cowboy, he could be the sheriff, maybe he could be the outlaw, I don't know, wanted Mr. Piggy. Now, in Toy Story, Woody is the sheriff. Poor little oink, uh, the little pig is not the sheriff, but in our world, he could be, why not? All right, for this project, you need paper, pencil, Sharpie to outline, eraser in case you make mistakes, and the background, the way we're gonna add color is oil pastels instead of crayons, and watercolor paint. The background is going to be an oil pastel watercolor resist. We'll talk more about that later. All right, let's get started, yeehaw! Step one, to draw our piggy. We are going to begin right in the middle of the paper with the letter V. It's a very loose letter V. It's the center of the hat. Okay, then we are going to make the top of the pig's head by making a slight curvy line on each side. We start here, we stop at the V, pretend, 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 and then keep going. Now the pig's body, all it is, is the letter U. Notice how we are drawing with letters. Here we go. Okay, next, now that we have the body, we are going to extend the hat on each side over here. And I suggest you draw with pencil. I'm drawing with Sharpie so that you can see better because I've heard that it's hard to see it when I draw with pencil, so this is fine. Okay, let's draw the piggy's ears. It's two triangles. You can make them a little bit wide if you choose that. And then a small triangle inside. Now for the pig's nose, it's an oval with two ovals inside, and later on you are going to color those in. Now we are ready for the pig's big western belt. You can make it a rectangle or you can make it an oval. I would make one big shape and then a smaller shape exactly like the other one inside. No, that is not the mouth. That is the big belt buckle. Okay. And now we are going to draw, if we draw the belt buckle here, the little belt. Now I wrote on mine, Sheriff Oink. You can do that or you can just write Oink or you can write his name on his belt buckle. That's cute too. You too. In art, with the little guys, we can't really draw guns or any weapons, but we can still have fun. Because this is a sheriff, uh, piggies like to eat corn. So we did like a little corn there. Maybe that's like his lunch or maybe that's like his, his weapon of choice, <laughs> okay? So let's go ahead and make the, the little pocket that's gonna hold a corn. You can do it here on the side or you can do it overlapping the belly. Okay, and just erase whatever extra pencil marks you don't need anymore. So basically, it's a long letter U, and then for the top part of the corn, you're going to draw another one, and then just draw some lines inside. And then you can draw the leaves. Here we go. Okay, now for the arms, we're just going to make two lines, and then the letter V make the little hoof, okay? And if you have another way where you want to put the, the little hoof holding the corn, you can do that. Okay, for the shoes, I did cowboy boots. So you're gonna do two lines and then the letter V for the top. And then for the bottom of the boot, I did just a triangle going back and just a little square for the heel, okay? 
Same thing on this side. Two lines, the letter V, kind of looks like an M. See, we're drawing with a lot of letters. Triangle and then the little square for the heel. Make sure that this one's a little bit smaller than this one. If you notice, oh, this boot is a little smaller or bigger, then kind of make them match in size. That's the beauty about drawing with pencil. Okay, now we are going to make just a little lines on the boots and that's what holds the, the spur. The spur is the little spiky things on the back of the cowboy boots. Okay, you can make a little smile or no smile. Okay. All right, now for the eyes, you can do open eyes or you can do closed eyes like he's squinting. Your choice. Okay, if you do open eyes, make sure that they're the same size and then the pupil inside. And leave just a little white. That's the light reflection of their eyes. And if it's going too fast, we can rewind or pause the video, okay? All right, the top of the hat, basically, it's the letter M. Another letter M. So we started with the letter V, then we did the letter U, and then we did um, the M over here, and then the M over here. See, lots of letters. Okay, and then finally, just a little ribbon or decoration there that part of the hat and then you can put sometimes they put jewels or beads or whatever so that's cool too and you have your sheriff piggy the next part is going to be the background the background is going to be sort of like the grand canyon like a desert old west area okay that's part two stay tuned Part two, coloring our piggy with oil pastels. Draw the pebbles on the ground all the way to the horizon line. Color your mountains or landforms in the background like the Grand Canyon and your cactus. You can draw several of them. Then color in your piggy solid with the oil pastels and decorations. And finally with watercolor paint, do a watercolor wash over the pebbles and over the sky. I used yellow to represent a nice sunset. And then the final details, if your oil pastel dulled the Sharpie, go over it with a color pencil.